All right, welcome foodie adventure fans. We have the boys to men shake. <laughs> All right, all right, foodie adventure fans. We have the boys to men shake here for Valentine's at Shake Shack. We're gonna test it out. It has cookie crumbles, real whipped cream, a little bit of chocolate, and it's strawberry and chocolate custard. Looking forward to these cookie crumbles in here and whatever else may be lurking in there for my delightful enjoyment. I'm already hyped up from eating the burger. Just got finished enjoying a Shake Shack date with my dear love over here. Enjoying the uh, Shake Shack deliciousness that it is. I had to have the shake again. And this time we got something I've never had before. I don't, I've never heard of this. But I'm familiar with Boys to Men. Back in the day, 90s, you know. Oh, wait, let's try it out. I see why they say boys to men. Because you come from a boy and you become a man once you have this shake. This is the real deal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely amazing. This is a dessert flavor explosion. Considerably delicious here. I like how all that comes together. It's like a strawberry chocolate creamsicle cookie masterfulness. It's just amazing. Let's look at the top of it. See that real whipped cream foaming out there? That's what you want. Flavor explosions, dancing around in your mouth. So this is the most expensive shake. It's $6. It's the special for February. The Boys to Men Valentine's Shake. Strawberry chocolate custard, real whipped cream, chocolate drizzled right on top, cookie crumbles within the mix. I mean, this is really uh, amazing. Mm. And there go those cookie crumbles. Mm. That's where it's at, Jack. That's what you just got to have. I highly recommend it. Like, over all the shakes I've ever had before. It's just kind of a little bit girly, but the flavor is just undeniable. It's like having your favorite ice cream, all of them mixed in one, and just, like, made a shake out of it, pretty much. Yeah, I wanted to try the uh, Korean menu at Shake Shack. There was, like, a Korean chicken burger at Shake Shack. I missed out on it. Sorry guys, we'll have to find out how we can make another video on that or just maybe just make it at the house. Either way, Foodie Adventures has got something new planned, so uh, don't, don't even worry. We're going to hit y'all with another shake video as soon as they come out with another shake at Shake Shack. But for now, uh, did, you, did you know that uh, you can enjoy like something really sweet with the one that you love, but then if you only have one shake... You might have to buy another. Cause I might drink all of this. Do you guys share shakes like with two straws, like back in the day, or do y'all like have your own shake, or do you just like let somebody drink their shake first and then give them the rest? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. I don't know what to do, but as I drink this, it definitely makes me want more and more of it. My favorite thing to get at Shake Shack is, of course, shakes, but I like cheese fries. I like shakes, obviously, and, you know, any double burger will really do, but I always like my uh, doubles with the, uh, those roasted cherry peppers are a really nice touch on the burger, so I highly recommend that, and then also uh, they do have a spicy chicken sandwich from time to time. I always like getting that one as well. That's why I really wanted to try the Korean chicken sandwich because I just wanted to see what kind of spice profile they were going to use. If they were going to use spicy bean paste or if they're just going to make it straight fire with like cayenne. Uh, so if you guys know, leave it in the comments. I'd like to find out so I can make my own. So we have a $10 credit from American Express for Shake Shack every month. It's great to be with American Express and enjoy Shake Shack, but it is kind of far away. We do make that travel out just uh, maybe like 15, 20 miles out just to get the Shake Shack location right here 
in the middle of Houston in the uh, Kirby area. So right off of Kirby. Uh, it is a little bit far away, but we highly enjoy it. And that's why we got to do our Shake Shack videos in the car because uh, the freshness won't make it all the way back to the house. Uh, you want to eat it right when it's nice and hot and fresh and you can still see that, you know, it's got a little steam coming from it. That's what you want. At Foodie Adventures, we expect the best. Yeah, Shake Shack. Why don't y'all make a location in Sugarland? I'm sure y'all could, you know, definitely use the money you're going to get from that area. You just have to make it look just like the one here. And then we can do a video comparing Shake Shack to in and out because they are both close by, which would be in Stafford area, which is an, also another good idea. And Whataburger is right around the corner. So if you want to do a video on that, we can do that as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe so we can do more challenges, get more food, and you know, we're going to do it anyways, but we need your support. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for being there. We want to see you soon, okay? Enjoy your shakes. Happy Valentine's Day. And have an amazing weekend. And I'm about to fight the camera woman for the rest of the shake. So wish me luck. To be continued.